If you get the chance to go outside and look up at the sky tonight, you'll be greeted with a view of the northern lights. An extremely rare and severe solar storm could potentially trigger colorful auroras over much of the country, even as far south as Alabama. This kind of geomagnetic storm is measured on a scale of G1 to G5, and according to ABC News, G5 conditions have been observed, so that means we could potentially have disruptions to things like the electric power grid, GPS, radio, and satellite operations. I spoke with a national expert for tonight, Derek Pitts. He's the chief astronomer and director of the Fells Planetarium at the Franklin Institute. Explain to us what's going on. Right now, Steve, the sun is at a very high level of activity, and part of that activity is a, 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 an incredible bath of electromagnetic particles sent out into the solar system that are bathing the Earth, and their interaction with the Earth's magnetic field is creating northern lights. And the Northern Lights, um, very rare event for us to see it here in the South. Oh, yes, this is a really rare situation uh, to have that visibility this far south. Typically, you only see this in the northern portion of the United States and up into Canada. But the sun's activity level is so high right now that it's really stimulating the magnetic field of the Earth to create this visibility so far south. So we keep our fingers crossed we can see it. Derek, what are the downsides of this solar activity? So one of the problems with this is that the interactivity with the Earth's magnetic field can cause problems in satellite communications. So the intense activity from the sun can overcurrent or overcharge, if you will, the sensitive electronics in a satellite, and that could cause some, some circuits to burn out. This is not a likelihood that this is going to happen because satellite manufacturers typically, you know, do some work to make sure that there's protection, but it is a possibility. The other thing that is, it isn't really known a lot is that sometimes solar activity like this can induce additional current in long distance power transmission. You know what we call the high tension lines, those long lines between towers? They act like antennas often for these particles, and that can cause a surge in the system that could take down part of the power grid. So my takeaways here are we should charge our devices in case the power might be affected and, and don't depend on the GPS. Know exactly where you're going or you might end up someplace you don't wanna be. I think those, uh, that's good advice and just realize that this is going to be over in a day or so and so we'll be back to normal and don't expect that there's going to be a whole lot of fallout from this, but in case something does happen, you'll have a little bit of an idea of what it might be.